Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I am continuing on my declutter journey and oh my gosh, <laughs> what a journey it has been. I feel like I have been decluttering for a lifetime <laughs> and I'm probably halfway done. So far I have decluttered all of my accessories. I shared my entire shoe collection, jewelry collection, and most recently, my handbag collection. I will leave a link to my handbag collection and declutter here, and I will leave links to everything else below, shoes, handbags, and jewelry. I think that you would really love those videos, especially if you love declutters, or if you just want to get a peek into my massive collection of everything. <laughs> so today, I will be tackling my coat collection. And let me tell you, for someone that lives in California and has always lived in California where the sun always shines. <laughs> I have an insane amount of coats and it's for good reason. I just really love coats. I really love like vintage inspired coats and as much as I love dresses, dresses are absolutely my favorite wardrobe item, um, but I also really, really love coats. And so in the spring and summer, it's all about the dresses, but in fall and winter, I bring out my coats and it's just, oh my gosh, I just love them so much. With that being said, I have a lot and this is going to be a really hard one for me because I really do love all of them. So I will not be sharing my jackets or blazers or um, anything like that. This is strictly going to be for coats. And before I get into that, I do want to share a little disclaimer. I have shared this in all of my videos. Feel free to skip ahead. But I just have to put this out there. I am a full-time blogger, influencer, and now YouTuber. And um, this has been my job for over eight years. As you can imagine, I've had quite a lot accumulate since then and even before then I was quite the clothing hoarder so I've always had a lot of clothes I've always had a lot of stuff when it comes to fashion not so much like anything else but really um, fashion and fashion is my passion it is my life it is everything to me and I really love to have options I am NOT a minimalist in any way <laughs> definitely a maximalist and you will see this in my wardrobe however I never want anyone to feel bad about watching my videos I never want anyone to feel like they need to have this amount of clothing or accessories or anything like that in their wardrobe to be happy or to feel worthy or to feel valuable you are perfect just as you are I just have a lot of stuff and that is why we are are doing a declutter. <laughs> okay, so now that is out of the way. Um, you're probably wondering what I do with all of this stuff. So I do a lot. Um, I actually donate quite a bit. I also do consign and I do sell on Poshmark and I do give some of it away. For anything that goes up on Poshmark, I will leave my link down below if you want to check it out, if you want to follow along, and if you want to shop anything from my closet. But um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into my coat declutter. Okay, so here is the before. <laughs> this is what it currently looks like it's kind of a mess and you definitely have a lot of coats and this is not even all of them can you believe that <laughs> so this actually was my top and skirt closet before but I moved everything to the main closet and all of my coats were previously in the um, other closet in the office which is now where my husband has his clothes so yeah, let's go ahead and get started on my coat declutter. This is probably my favorite coat ever. It's so, so beautiful, so soft. It's from a brand called Detoussi and it's just so cozy, so beautiful, so glamorous. 
definitely will be keeping this one. This is from Nap, and I wear this one a lot. So it's not my typical coat, but it is really flattering. It's really warm, and I think it looks great with everything. And this one is from Bash. It is super soft. I really love the neutral color. I don't have any other colors like this, and I wear it pretty often, actually. It is a little bit too big, but it does have the sash around the waist, so that certainly helps. This one is really similar. It's from a brand called um, Day, D-E-A. I have quite a few of their leather jackets, and this is just a really beautiful coat from them. It is very similar to the Bash one, but this one is more of like a kind of like a light tan color and then this one is I don't even know it's almost like a tan gray color so they're very different but very similar style this is new this year from Ellie Tahari it is so beautiful I love this coat so much I shared it in my um, academia video maybe like late last year so definitely check that out if you haven't already it's really really beautiful and really great for fall and winter this is one of my favorite vintage coat finds it is so beautiful. This color is not my typical color, but I think it is absolutely stunning. It has a beautiful fur color and a kind of like 1960s swing shape. Very flattering and very Miss Maisel. <laughs> and this is a newer vintage coat. I thought the seafoam green color was really pretty and really unique. It has this beautiful like um, fur collar at the neck. It's really cozy and just really fun. And this is another vintage coat. It's very classic. I love the fur color. I love the swing shape. It's very similar to this green one, but um, in black. <laughs> it's very classy and elegant and just a really pretty coat. So this is an older one and I really did love it, but it's kind of long on me. So yeah, I don't reach for it much anymore. I'm going to try this one on, but I might get rid of it. This is another one that's pretty long on me. It's really beautiful. It's from Chi Chi London and there's these really cute like pearly buttons. I love the color. Um, there's some bows on the side, but I do have a very similar coat and I usually reach for the other one a little bit more. So I'm going to try this one on, um, but I might say goodbye. And this is actually a vintage robe. I think it's so beautiful. I'm not sure why it's in my coat closet. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping, but I'm probably going to put it somewhere else. This is a gorgeous Tiffany blue leather coat. It's pretty long. It's from that same brand, Day. And this is actually the Lizzie coat, named after yours truly. <laughs> so they um, made it just for me, and it's a really beautiful coat. Definitely will be keeping. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't remember where I got this one, and it wasn't expensive at all. It was actually a really great price, but I think it is the cutest coat. It has like a swing shape with some pearl buttons and a little um, black bow tie at the neck along with this removable collar. There's also some pearls on it. It's really, really cute. I wore this out um, not too long ago, got so many compliments on it. I absolutely love this coat. It is one of my favorites. I've had it for years. It's from Review Australia, and I have a lot of their coats, actually. I really love the vintage style of it. It's very glamorous, and the white goes with everything. It has a beautiful faux fur color and a bow in the back. This one is actually from Target, believe it or not. <laughs> I got it many, many years ago, probably like a decade ago. It still looks um, immaculate. It's really beautiful. It has kind of like this brocade fabric with a faux fur collar. It's very flattering and it looks vintage inspired, so I really, really love it. This is from Elizabeth and James and I got it from a Rent the Runway sample sale years ago whenever I went to New York for Fashion Week. It is so beautiful. <laughs> it's really heavy, but it's super cozy and it's actually probably one of the warmest coats that I own. It is a little oversized and typically I don't go for oversized and I don't believe that there's a size smaller than this, but it is just kind of one of those coats that you just throw on whenever you just want to have like a cozy day um, in or out and it's really great for travel too, so I'll definitely be keeping it. This is from Kate Spade and it looks a little dark on the camera, but it is a 
really beautiful shade of burgundy. There's a bow at the neck and it has these really beautiful buttons down the front. It's um, kind of like a shift swing shape, a little vintage inspired, very cute. Um, I love this coat so much. This is an older one from Bowdoin and I think it is adorable. I just love the color and I really love that this color is like back in style. I would still wear it anyway, but <laughs> um, I mean, that's a plus. So it is really, really cute. I absolutely love the shape. I think it's really flattering. It's a very ladylike coat. This is an older one from J. Crew. I got it years ago from Poshmark, so it is pre-loved. And I still really love it. I love the color. I love the shape. This is a well-made coat. It is high quality. Really beautiful. So the only thing is that it's a size zero. And <laughs> I'm a little bit bigger than that now. I can still fit into it. And, um, you know, it does have some stretch. It's very comfortable. But it's not like I could wear a sweater under it. So this is one that I need to try on. I might have to say goodbye, but I really hope I don't have to. This is another favorite from Kate Spade. I am obsessed with this coat. I stalked the website waiting for it to go on sale and then I got it. <laughs> it's really beautiful. It has these gorgeous buttons and a faux fur collar and this whole part of the coat is just kind of like fuzzy furry, um, very warm. The color is beautiful. I get so many compliments when I wear it. I wore it to the mountains on a snow trip and it kept me so warm and cozy and I just felt so glamorous and stylish in it. This is an older one from Marks and Spencer. I really love the color. It's a beautiful like mauvey pink color and it's just a really beautiful coat. So this is actually the coat that was part of the outfit that got me featured in InStyle magazine. So I do have a bit of an attachment to it. I don't reach for it that much, but I have kind of like a sentimental um, attachment to it. So I'm not sure if I should get rid of it. I feel like this is one that I need to try on. And um, yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna see. This is another from Review Australia. I think it's adorable. So it also has the removable faux fur collar and some really beautiful buttons. It has like a slight vintage vibe. Very, very cute. The material actually has some stripes on it. I don't typically reach for this one for some reason. Maybe just because I have so many coats and they're all like smashed together. But I think this is another one that I need to try on just to make sure that I still love it. This is another one from Chi Chi London and this is probably my most worn coat that I own. I love it so much. The color is just so beautiful. It's this gorgeous like light mauvey pink. It's honestly the most perfect shade of pink. I've worn it to several fashion weeks, day-to-day -day life, to dressy events, more casual day outs. Like it really is just a coat that looks good with everything. So I'll definitely be keeping this one. This is one of my latest additions from Chic Wish and I shared it in um, not this last haul, but the one before that, <laughs> I think. <laughs> but yeah, so this one has this really beautiful large faux fur collar. It is removable, and the color is a really nice kind of like mauvey blush pink. It's really beautiful. It's um, actually really warm, and it is very affordable. I'm really glad that I got this one. This one is from the Halogen Atlantic Pacific collab, and typically I don't usually buy products like this, but I do love her blog, I love her style, and I fell in love with this coat. I actually got several pieces from her collection, um, like a bow blouse and really beautiful pleated vegan leather skirt. I just loved everything. <laughs> but this coat is my favorite buy from the collection. It has these really cute bow details down um, here. Is there a pocket? Oh yeah, there's a pocket on the side. And then um, some buttons along the front. The fit is a little looser, it's kind of like swing fit, but it's still very flattering and I really love the color. This is another beauty from Review Australia and this is like a princess coat. I think it is so cute. Again, with the faux fur collar, they're really pretty buttons. This color is more of a blush pink. It is very, very beautiful. It flows out in this beautiful like flared shape. 
Um, very, very flattering, and the lining is so pretty. I think all of their coats just have like this really beautiful lining. Really gorgeous for springtime, and one of my very favorites. This is another from Chi Chi London, and this is one of my favorites, also another of my most worn. The shape is so beautiful, so flattering. It just flares out. It's almost like a dress coat. It's really beautiful. It has buttons down the front and um, some little bows like on the sleeves and, you know, a bow tie at the front. It's very pretty. I love the light blush pink color. It goes with pretty much any color in your closet. This one is from Chi Chi London. It's a really beautiful camel coat. And... It's the only camel coat I have. I do feel like it's a classic wardrobe staple. I have been on the lookout for a better quality camel coat. This one's okay, <laughs> but it's, you know, it's just fine. Also, I'm not really sure if like camel is my color. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Should I continue my search with the perfect camel coat or not? But yeah, I feel like I need to try this one on just to see if I still love it because I don't reach for it that much. This is from Jules and it's a menswear inspired coat. I think it's really beautiful. It kind of has like a 1940s look to it. It has a really nice greeny look in the fabric. Very, very beautiful. I did used to wear this one a lot. I haven't reached for it much lately but it is like a little bit too small. So I don't know. I feel like I need to try this one on just to see if it even still fits. But yeah, this one's a maybe. This is another from Review Australia, also menswear inspired. I am obsessed with this one. I think it is beautiful. It does have a faux fur collar, just like all of the other ones. Are you seeing a pattern here? <laughs> I love faux fur collars. Um, but yeah, this has a beautiful pattern as well. The colors are really, really stunning. And it's just a really gorgeous coat. This one is from Elsie Lauren Conrad and I remember watching her runway show on my computer and I saw this coat and I was obsessed. Well, it sold out really fast and so I was like stocking Poshmark forever and a few years later I found it in my size and the price, you just couldn't beat it. It is really beautiful. Definitely one of my favorites. More of a lightweight coat but it is really, really stunning and very feminine. This is another from Chi Chi, and it's actually the exact same coat as the um, mauve pink one that I shared earlier. I've worn this one so much as well. It's um, been a companion to New York Fashion Week and, you know, just daily life. The color is really beautiful. It's kind of like a light blue gray, but yeah, I really, really love this one. This one is also from Chi Chi. I think it is adorable. It has a little scalloped edge right here. The fit is a little more straight and I have hips so I don't typically reach for this one even though it is really cute so I think that this is another that I need to try on to see if I still love it. This is another from Review with the faux fur collar and the beautiful like princess silhouette has some gorgeous buttons and it's just a really, really gorgeous color. So I realize now that I have a lot of light blue coats for some reason. I mean, I have a lot of pink coats, but pink is my favorite color. So of course that is to be expected, but yeah, there's a lot of light blue here. They are all different shades of light blue, <laughs> if that helps, but I just love all of them. So I'm not sure that I can get rid of any of them. And then there is this beauty. This is Kate Spade. I just love it. It's very similar to the pink one that I shared earlier with the faux fur color and the jeweled buttons. The fit is slightly different. It is a little bit closer to the body, but it does look really nice. It's just a really, really beautiful, classy, ladylike coat. This is also another favorite from Chi Chi London. I've worn this one so much. This is like my comfy coat because it is a little oversized. So it just, yeah, it's just really, really beautiful. I love the lilac color and the sleeves have these bows. It is kind of like a vintage style because it does have the bracelet sleeves that go up a little bit. It's just a really, really beautiful coat. This is another from Review. <laughs> So again, the faux fur collar and the beautiful princess seams with the jeweled buttons this time. 
and this one also has a really cute lining. I just love this color. So typically I would not do this, but it is a size smaller than what I typically wear for review, but when I saw it online and it was on sale, I absolutely had to have it. It is just so beautiful and it does fit really well. So I will definitely be keeping, but um, yeah, just just a really, really pretty spring timey coat. This is another from Kate Spade. And to be honest, I actually don't wear a lot of gray, but I really loved this coat. It's very warm. I've worn it in the snow and it just kept me super toasty. I think it is beautiful. It does have the looser swing shape. It has faux fur on the collar and on the cuffs, which I love. And the buttons are really gorgeous. They're jeweled and it's just a really, really stunning coat. And this one is also from Chicwish. So this is the same coat as this one. <laughs> just in black and it has the removable faux fur color. And it's just really beautiful. I think this one is very glamorous. And this one isn't so much of a daytime coat. It's more of like an evening coat. It looks beautiful with really nice dresses and that sort of thing. Okay, so now we're getting into faux fur coats. This first one is from Chicwish. And in my opinion, so I have a lot of Chicwish clothes. This is probably one of the best items that I've gotten from them. It's really, really cute. It's so fluffy. It's so soft. It's cozy. It has a quilted interior and this cute little pearl button. It's very cute and it looks amazing with so many different things. This is an older one and it's just kind of like a, a teddy coat. It's really lightweight and cozy. It's almost like a cardigan. So I think it's really cute, but I actually don't reach for it that much. So I'm not sure. I feel like I need to try this one on, but I might say goodbye. This is from a brand called CC. I think it is adorable. It's kind of like a, it almost looks like a Dalmatian print, um, faux fur coat. It's really cute. It goes with so many different things, super cozy and warm and just a really fun and unique take on the animal print um, faux fur coats. This is my first faux fur coat that I bought for myself. This is from Show Me Your Moo Moo. Um, it is a tad too small now, but it does still fit and I still do really, really love it. It's kind of got like a shaggy faux fur look. It's very like boho looking. It looks beautiful with more casual long dresses. It's just very, very pretty. This is from Unreal Fur and they have the best faux fur coats. They are so high end and just really beautiful. I feel like you can dress it up, dress it down. I typically don't go for animal prints. To me, this is like a bit of a stretch, <laughs> but I do really like this one. I think it's very blended and it's, um, it's just a really beautiful, almost like vintage looking coat. Very, very pretty. This, in my opinion, is the faux fur coat of all faux fur coats. It's from J. Crew, and when they came out with it, it was a big deal. It's really beautiful. It's this gorgeous, like, pinky mauve color. It is a little bit longer, so it goes uh, maybe just above the knee on me. Super glamorous, so heavy. It's, like, hard to hold it up, but it's really, really soft. I just, oh my gosh, I just love it so much. And actually, I got really lucky with this one because I didn't get it when it came out. It was a very, very expensive. I found it on Poshmark for a steal, and I still can't believe that I found it for such a great deal. And this one is also from Unreal Fur. So this one is a size too large. It is a little bit bigger on me. It's very cute. I love the pink color, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it because I do think it goes with a lot in my closet. This one is also from Unreal Fur and it is a size too large, but it actually fits perfect. So yeah, <laughs> this one is also another very glamorous looking coat. I feel like it's very like snow bunny. This would be a cute coat to take with you on a winter vacation or like um, a trip to a cabin or something like that. Very pretty, very glam. You can easily dress it up as well. I just really love it. And this one is from Loft. It's very, very soft. It's almost like a fur blanket. <laughs> it's really cozy. I love the light gray color. So like I mentioned earlier, I don't really have a lot of 
gray in my wardrobe but this shade is very pretty it's very very feminine it looks really pretty with <laughs> all of my pink dresses but yeah I'll be keeping this one as well this is a recent edition from Chic Wish. It was most recently in my Valentine's Day haul. So if you haven't watched that yet, check it out. Lots of really cute girly outfit inspo. I know Valentine's Day has passed, but there are a lot of really cute outfits in there. So this is a really beautiful like burgundy color. There is a long glamorous faux fur color and some pom-poms all around. It's very, very comfy, very roomy. It's like a giant blanket and it just, it feels really cozy. It has like a knit material and it does look slightly more dressy. So I feel like this is really great for a night out, but you could also wear it for um, daytime as well. This is my vintage inspired cape from Review Australia. Oh my gosh, I just love this. I've had it for years and I still love it. I still think it's very much my style. It has these beautiful embroidered flowers on the front and the back. There's a faux fur collar and then buttons down the front. It's very cute. I am obsessed with it. This is the pink version of this one. <laughs> so I did share this in one of my hauls. It's super cozy. It does have knit material, very easy to wear. I think this one is more appropriate for like daytime um, rather than like, you know, this one. Very comfy, very cozy faux fur on the collar. And then also down here as well, it does have the bracelet sleeves. You know, you can see whatever sweater or top you have popping out of it. And the color's really, really pretty. And this is the pink version of this. <laughs> so I just have like the same capes just in different colors literally. Um, so this one I got after the red one and when I saw the pink version I had to have it and it was on sale and I am so glad I did because for me this is the cape of all capes. Like if I were to just have one cape it would be this one. I love it so much. The color is so beautiful. It has um, embroidery on the front and on the back. The faux fur collar, really beautiful buttons. It's just a really, really stunning coat. Piece of art. And this is the black version of this. See what I mean? Ugh, I'm so bad. But um, this one, you know, same thing with the faux fur collar and the pom-poms all around. Very comfy, very cozy. To me, this one, they both look very dressy, but this one is definitely much more dressy. I do think you can dress it down, but it's still like very much a statement piece <laughs> um, for, I don't know, I feel like this would be really great for nighttime. Very, very pretty. And this is not a cape, but it is the only pea coat I have. It's from J. Crew, and I got it years and years ago before I even started my blog. I love it. The color is so beautiful. It is a size zero, so it is a little bit too small for me now. But I did try it on recently, and it it actually fit really well. I'm I'm wondering if J. Crew like runs a little bit big, but yeah, I I do feel like I need to try it on just one more time just to make sure. But I do love it. I do think it's really cute and the color just makes me happy. This one was also in my Valentine's Day haul and it's from Chic Wish. This is actually a really nice coat. It is really beautiful and I find that their coats are actually really nice especially for the price. I was looking for a good red coat because I don't have a red coat aside from capes but sadly this one is too big. Um, like way too big. I, I don't even think that I could properly tailor it because it's just, you know, too wide and just too long. I'm only 4'11", so sadly, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to this one, which makes me sad because I didn't even get the chance to wear it. So this one is actually new. It is the only coat that I bought for myself this year. I, oh my gosh, I just love it so much, and I know that I don't need another coat. I'm doing a declutter video, but I have been lusting after this coat since I first saw it. It's from Love Shack Fancy. It's so, so beautiful. Totally my style. Love the gingham. It's this really gorgeous shade of pink, and there's faux fur on the cuffs and on the collar. It is just my style. And so I just, oh my gosh, I waited and waited and waited. It finally went on sale, sold out like three times. <laughs> and then finally I got it when it came back in my size and it was 
a deal of a deal and so I just I couldn't pass it up I needed it in my life otherwise I feel like I would have regretted it but I'm glad I got it the fit is perfect I actually got an extra small and I thought it would be a little bit too small but the fit could not be more perfect it's just absolutely beautiful so this is the last of what's in my closet but don't worry it's not the last of my coats that's so sad but uh these are all of my lighter weight coats so more like spring and fall type of lightweight coats. This is a beautiful tweed coat from Kate Spade, of course. <laughs> I really, really love her coats. So it has ruffles all around the neckline and all the way down, um, along the pockets and along the sleeve. There's also pearl buttons that go all the way down. It's a beautiful like white with gray shimmer has just the right amount of sparkle i think this is really great for day or night or even a special event i think it goes with a lot of different things i think that this one is literally the cutest thing ever so this is from chic wish they've had it on their site forever one of my all-time favorite pieces from them so this one i actually didn't get from chic wish i bought it uh second hand from another blogger on Poshmark and I just fell in love with it. It is labeled as a dress, but it's actually very much like, like a lightweight coat. It has buttons that go just to here. There's a giant bow and it's in this really gorgeous red and black plaid. Not typically the type of pattern that I go to, but it is super cute. I love wearing it during the holidays or during the fall and winter season. I think it's just adorable. This is another jacket from Kate Spade, and I've had this one forever, probably around the time that I started blogging. It has this really beautiful, like, bow right here at the neck, and the rest of it's very simple. It does have the bracelet sleeves, and it flares out just a bit. It's really cute. It kind of gives any outfit that you wear with it, like, a little extra excitement. <laughs> this is Bowden, so this is another like swing coat it's very cute it has like this really beautiful pinky salmon color it is really fun um i do have quite a few Bowdoin coats and they're all really colorful and fun and i love that because i do love pink but i also really love color and i've kind of gotten more into neutrals like within the last few years but i will always always love color and prefer color over an all neutral outfit this is another cutie from Review Australia. I love this coat so much. I think it is adorable. So it has kind of like a little pleated skirt look at the bottom. There's a bow in the back. The uh, collar is like a really cute Peter Pan collar and the color is a light pink with some gold and black. It's a really, really adorable coat and it goes with a lot in my closet. This is another favorite from Kate Spade. It's very similar in shape and design to this pink one. It has the bow at the neck and does have like a slight like kind of swing look with the bracelet sleeves. The material is just a little bit heavier. It's really pretty. I love the light pink color. This very much matches everything in my wardrobe. I've worn it a lot and it still looks brand new. So this one is actually more of like a blazer than a coat, I would say, um, but for some reason I have it with these. So it goes like longer, so it almost looks like a dress. It's really cute. It has these ruffles at the bottom. I love the pink color. There's the buttons all up and down the sleeve and it still has the tag on it. So I have photographed this. I haven't actually worn it out. I don't know if that's because I have so many coats and it just kind of like was stuffed in there, but I haven't reached for it and I'm not really sure why that is because it's really cute and I really do love it. So this is one that I think I'm going to have to try on. You know, it might be a little too tight in the hips or something, so I'm not really sure until I do that. This is a pink trench coat from Review Australia. It is the girliest, cutest trench coat I've ever seen in my life. I don't have a lot of trench coats, but I really love this one. And I would say this is like my perfect ideal trench. So it has these really beautiful like ruffle details along the collar and on the sleeve. The fabric is really nice. It's very soft and it is water repellent. I have worn it outside. It's just really cute, very feminine. It's very like princessy. I absolutely love it. 
This is from a brand called Alice's Pig. I've had it for years and years and years. And when I initially got it, it was way too big for me. But then, um, you know, I gained a little bit of weight and now it fits fine. There still is quite a bit of room in it. I really love the color. It's very like lightweight, really nice to just kind of throw on. I have worn it quite quite a bit so it's starting to look a little worn but I do still think it's really cute. I haven't reached for it in a while though so I think I'm gonna try this one on as well. This is a trench from ASOS and this is more of like a traditional trench style. The color is this really beautiful blush pink. It is kind of similar to the other one but different in style I guess. <laughs> I actually took this one with me um, to Europe whenever we went after we got married. My husband had never been so it was our very first trip together. It's got a lot of memories. This was like my go-to coat and I wore it with you know all of my outfits and I don't know it just has a lot of sentimental meaning to me so I feel like this is one I want to keep. Yeah I don't know I'm gonna try it on but more than likely I'm gonna keep this one. This is another Poshmark find. I'm not sure what the brand is. It almost does look kind of vintage. It's very pretty. So the interior has this gorgeous like silky lining and the fabric is, I'm not really sure, um, but it's just, it's really pretty. It has this gorgeous pattern on it. It's pink with like a tan background. It's very, very pretty. It's kind of like a dressy coat. It matches with a lot, but um, I don't reach for it that much anymore. I do still really love it, and more than likely I'm going to keep this one, but I do need to try it on because I do remember it being a little bit too tight in the sleeves, so yeah, I'm going to try this one on. This is a silk trench from Lily Silk. Still has the tags. It's really, really beautiful. It's very flowy. This is definitely not a traditional trench coat. I wouldn't wear it outside in the rain, but it is really beautiful and lightweight and very feminine. And I think this would make a nice layer for like summer to fall or winter to spring. I haven't worn it. I have photographed it, but I haven't worn it out. So I'm not really sure why that is because it is really pretty. So I think I'm going to try this one on as well. I don't really remember where this is from. I think I got it from like a little boutique, but it's really cute. It kind of has like a little Kate Spade style. There's a bow at the front and pearl buttons that go down. It is in that really cute like swing style. The color is very pretty. I don't have much green at all, but I do really love this. I think it's really flattering. It's a beautiful emerald color. Really, really pretty for um, fall going into winter. This is another chic wish find, and this one is the same as this one, <laughs> just in the green version. So it's actually green and navy and not green and black. It's really, really cute and it has a giant bow at the front. It does go pretty wide. It's almost like, like a dress, but it's not. It's definitely a coat, but it's very swingy and twirly. Very, very cute. I do think that I prefer the red one um, to this one. It is really pretty, but I think I'm going to try this one on. This is a beautiful tweed jacket from Tahari ASL, and it has a lot of different colors. It does look more blue, but it has pretty much like, I don't know, a rainbow of colors in it. <laughs> it's very pretty. And down the front, it does have some pearl details. It's very, very cute, very pretty. I did wear this one a lot when I got it, but I haven't reached for it in a while, and that's because I did gain weight. And this is a little bit on the smaller side. So I haven't tried it on in a while. I do really love it, and if it fits, I'll definitely keep it, but I'm going to try this one on. This is another from Review Australia. I think it is adorable. So I have a matching skirt, literally like the same print, and I love wearing them together. It's so cute. So it has like a light blue with black, um, a really beautiful plaid, some cute little buttons, Peter Pan collar. It's really adorable. I think that it is like the cutest coat ever. <laughs> so definitely we'll be keeping this one. This is another from Tahari ASL and it also has this really beautiful tweed fabric. It's navy and black with some gold shimmer. Oh my gosh, like you can see it on camera. It's just really, really gorgeous. Down the front, it has a chain detail and then there is a brooch that I think it can be removed. Yes, it can. 
um, but it just kind of adds a little something extra. So this is a very pretty dressy jacket. Um, I did used to wear it to work when I was like a substitute teacher. I was always super overdressed, but that's okay. <laughs> so again, this one also I stopped wearing it because I gained weight. Um, so I'm going to try this one on and see if it still fits and if it does, I'll keep it. And if not, I don't know. This is a newer one from CC. It is so cute. In fact, all of their clothing collections as of late are like super, super cute. So this is a swing coat. It has a lot of volume, but it is very like twirly very very pretty these sleeves I think oh no it goes all the way down but they're just a little wider there's a little tie at the front and yeah this is just a really cute classic houndstooth very very chic and I think that you can style it a lot of different ways one of my favorites from this year for sure especially with like the academia trend and like the gossip girl type style coming back in this is an older one from Elsie Lauren Conrad, and I have loved this jacket for so long. I used to wear it so much, and now it is a bit too small for me. I do keep keeping it around for some reason. Keep keeping? <laughs> I have been keeping it around for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but it does have like these really cute polka dots and like a little vintage look to it. I think it's actually listed on my Poshmark, but I just haven't had the heart to sell it. So I'm going to try this one on and make a final decision as to whether or not it deserves a spot in my closet. And this one is, of course, from Kate Spade. <laughs> so this is another really beautiful tweed jacket. Very similar to this one, but um, the style is just a little bit different. So this is black, but it does have some shimmery threads throughout. It is really, really stunning. There's some frayed edges, pearl buttons. It's just a really beautiful, classy coat. This goes with so much. It is definitely one of my most worn, especially when I was subbing a lot. I really love it, and I'll be keeping this one. So I have finished everything in there, <laughs> and now I am going to share what I have boxed up in the garage. I don't have enough hangers for them, so I'm just gonna hold them up and show you but yeah excited to get into these because a lot of these I haven't looked at in a while and some of them I had planned to get rid of anyway and then the other ones it was just a storage because I didn't have enough space so this should be interesting this one is from a brand called Alice's Pig and it's like a really cute 1940s menswear inspired coat. I really do like this one. I think it's super, super cute. I'm going to go ahead and try it on because I haven't tried this one on in a while and I just want to make sure I still like it. This is another vintage coat and it was given to me by the parent of one of my guitar students. <laughs> and I think it's so cute. I call this my Emily in Paris coat. It looks very much like the coat she wore. Uh, I think it's super, super cute. It's kind of like a cream and black plaid gingham, whatever it is. But yeah, I'll be keeping this one. This is another from Bowden, and I think it's really cute. It also has a really cute polka dot lining. The color is super pretty. It's like a true purple. Very, very pretty. I did wear this one a lot, and it still looks great. I haven't worn it in a while maybe because it's been boxed up but I do think that I want to try this one on just to see if I still like the way it looks on me. This is another favorite from Review and I'm realizing now that a lot of these were boxed up because they were darker colors <laughs> so I had put away a lot of my darker coats because a lot of my wardrobe is like super light but um yeah anyway so I really really love this one. This is probably one of my favorites from um my Review collection. It has a really gorgeous navy color with red and white stripes, kind of like a grid pattern, but it's very pretty. Also has the faux fur collar, and this one also has a bow at the neck. Very, very cute. This is seriously one of the prettiest coats that I own. It's also from Review absolutely stunning. So it has the faux fur collar and the fabric is kind of like a brocade. It's just really beautiful. It's 
black with magenta flowers and it is really really stunning i do have a very similar skirt in an almost identical pattern and colorway i paired them together when i photographed it, it looked amazing but this also looks great with black or white or you know even some complementary colors it's a really really beautiful coat i'll definitely be keeping this one this is also from review and it looks really dark, but it's actually a navy color. It's very, very pretty. I don't wear navy that often, to be honest. So that's why I, I don't wear it that much. I do really love it. I do think this is one I need to try on. More than likely, I'm going to keep it, but it's just, I don't know. But yeah, it does have the faux fur color. It has a beautiful lining. I just, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> is it too dark for me? I'm not really sure. <laughs> This one is also Bowden and it is really, really cute. It has this leopard print faux fur collar and it is in a true black. It's just, you know, a very simple black coat. The collar is removable, but I really love it on. I think it gives it a little bit of a vintage look. I more than likely am going to keep this one, but I do want to try it on. And this is what I call my rock star coat. <laughs> it's very edgy, much more edgy than I typically dress, but I do play guitar, so I think it kind of brings out the rock star in me. This is from Day, and it is a beautiful true black. It has um, leather line all over, and it does have like a leather wool belt that's reversible. It's really flattering, actually. It comes in and then kind of flares out like a little skirt. It's very, very pretty. It has been a while since I have worn it, obviously, because it's been in a box. So I'm going to try this one on. More than likely, I'm going to keep it. And actually, I'm just probably going to try on all of the coats that are in the boxes because it's been so long since I've worn them. This is a parka from J. Crew. It's really cute. I've worn it a lot in the past. It has a hood with faux fur and it has kind of like a straighter shape very comfy and cozy however I do have a few of these coats so this one like I said I don't really wear navy a lot so I wore this one the least so I'm probably going to go ahead and just get rid of this one this is the same coat in gray and even though I don't wear a lot of gray I did wear this one more than the navy I think I just like how it looks a little bit better and it goes with more of my wardrobe. Uh, this one I do need to try on because it's been a while since I wore it and I think it is a little bit too small or it was a little bit too small so I need to see if it even still fits. This is from Chicwish and I really do love this coat. So it has a really beautiful shawl collar and um, a little tie at the waist and what I love most about it is that it flares out and it's very very feminine and extremely flattering. What I don't love is the color. So orange is my least favorite color, but I thought that this was really pretty for like fall. You know, it definitely has that fall look to it. And I always imagined myself like going to Yosemite and wearing this. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Like I do like the way it looks. The color is just not my favorite so I'm not sure if that's a deal breaker I'm gonna go ahead and try this one on and see um, they do have this coat in quite a few different colorways there's even a pink version that's just like pink um, that I think I would prefer not that I need another coat but yeah I'm just I'm gonna try this one on this one is also from Chicwish and it is a tweed coat it's very very long it's like on me a maxi length it is just to the middle of my shins and I think that's probably why I haven't worn it because it is really cute I did photograph it but I haven't worn it out because it is really heavy <laughs> like this is a very warm coat which is good um, but it's also very long on me so I don't know it's really pretty and I really do like it and I think it's my style but I do need to try it on to figure out whether or not I'm going to wear this. This one is also from Chicwish and it is so soft. Oh my goodness. It is so, so soft. So this is another one that's like pretty long, not as long as the other one, but it is, it's pretty long on me. I do really like the pattern. I think it's very classic. It's black with like a gray and little white kind of grid pattern. Very, very pretty. I'm, I think I'm going to try this one on too. This is another one from Bowdoin and I really do like it. <laughs> so it is the same as the black coat with the leopard collar and actually both collars 
can um, be taken off and I think that this one looks really cute with the leopard collar as well so I do really like this coat however the color is just so green oh my goodness so like I said I don't really own a lot of green especially this color it's very much like a St. Patrick's kind of like Kelly green uh, the interior is really cute. I don't know. I'm just not really sure how this looks on me. I do think it is adorable though. So I don't know. I think this is another one that I need to try on. This is another from Review and it's in a really beautiful like deep teal color. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what this color is, but it is really, really, really pretty. It does have a faux fur collar and the really beautiful buttons, and it does have like a slight princess cut to it, so it flares out a bit. It's very feminine, very flattering, just really, really beautiful. I do know that this one fits. It was just out there because it was dark, <laughs> but I am going to keep this one. This one is from Loft, and it's really cute. It's super, super soft. Like I said, I don't really go for animal print that often. If I were to, it would definitely be something like this where it is more like toned down uh, with the white and the black. It is very, very pretty but I haven't really worn it and I'm not really sure why. So I think that this is also another that I need to try on. This is another from Loft and again, it is so, so soft, so cozy. The color is a really beautiful, like burgundy wine color. Very, very pretty. I have not really worn this one either and I think it's just because it's like a little too dark for me. I don't know. So. I'm going to try this one on. More than likely, I am going to part with it, but I do want to see what it looks like on me. This is my little Red Riding Hood cape, <laughs> or at least that's what I think it looks like. So this is also from Chi Chi London, and when I photographed this, like, so many people went wild for this. So this is very, very lightweight, um, but it is really, really cute. It has a bow tie at the front and the color is just really gorgeous. So I really do like this one and I feel that I would get a lot of wear out of it, but I do want to try it on. This is a faux fur shrug from Eliza J. It's a beautiful true black color, very soft, very cozy. It does have a really unique pattern. I'm not sure if it comes across on camera, but it's really beautiful and it has like a retro vintage vibe, kind of like old Hollywood, which I love and it looks amazing with evening wear, so I will keep this one. This is a faux fur wrap from Eliza J and it's in this really gorgeous blush pink color. It has a collar and it goes down. It is really beautiful with evening wear. I think I need to try it on. I really do like this one and I like the color, but I do want to remind myself of what it looks like on. And this is also another faux fur wrap from Eliza J. This one is in a really beautiful cream color and it has kind of like a little cape feature in the back. It is really cute and again, this is really great for evening wear. I do want to try this one on. More than likely, I'm going to keep all three of these just because I have a lot of evening dresses and they look great with them. Um, but I do want to see what it looks like. And now we're in the home stretch. This is the last of my coat collection. So all of these are coats that are kind of by the front door, really easy to throw on type of thing and also more function rather than fashion. So a lot of my coats, I would say like 99% of them are more fashion focused because after all, I am a fashion blogger. So that's very important to me. Um, but I do need some functional ones as well. This is another one from Chi Chi and I've had it forever. I've worn it so much. So this is one that I keep by the front door. It's more lightweight but it goes with a lot of different things and it's really easy to throw on plus it is a little more oversized so it's just really easy to wear. This is a puffer jacket from Ellen Tracy and it has a hidden hood so I really do like this one but it is huge on me. It's a size too big but it is like really big. <laughs> so even though I really like it and I thought that I could make it work I just 
I think it's just too big for me and even like layering two sweaters under it just it doesn't work so I think that I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye to this one this is my raincoat from Jules I think it's adorable so it's a kind of like a medium gray with a really fun large floral print it's really cute and sunshiny and perfect for a rainy day plus it matches my boots this is my camping jacket and originally I only got it for camping. I wanted to find something that was pretty because we do like to go camping but camping clothes are kind of ugly so I found this and I was like that's the one. <laughs> so it's a really beautiful blush pink color. I love it so so much. It is a little dirty. I do need to wash it but um, yeah so this is a two-in-one. It does zip away and it has a puffer underneath and it does have a hood with a faux fur collar. It's super warm. So even though this is my camping jacket, this is actually the one that I've been wearing like day to day when I need to go out and run an errand or something like that. I keep it by the front door because it is really, really warm. And you know, if I'm just in leggings or something, I don't really want to wear one of my nice jackets, but it's been really cold here this year. So this has definitely come in handy. This is a waterproof jacket from High Sierra. So this one I do use exclusively for camping. It's really easy to pack away and it's easy to just kind of throw on um, whenever you're hiking around waterfalls or when it starts to rain, that sort of thing. And plus the color is really bright so you're easy to spot. This is another rain jacket from Jules, and the other one is more heavy. This one is definitely more lightweight, and so this is super easy to pack with you um, and just throw on when you need it. I took it with us when we went to Hawaii, and it did get some marks whenever we went hiking, but I still do really love it. I think it's really beautiful, and I love to take this with me for travel. This is my quilted jacket, also from High Sierra. I have worn this so many times, literally like every single time we go camping. I love it. It's super warm and cozy and I really love the pink color. And this isn't really a jacket but it's like the only hoodie I own <laughs> and it was with my jacket so might as well show you. So this is also from High Sierra. It's a very similar color, a little bit brighter, very cozy. Um, I use this when I go hiking and yeah. And the last one is my parka from J. Crew. So the other two were also from J. Crew, but I much prefer this one. It is better quality, and the color is just so stunning. Absolutely my style. It's pink, but it also has some other colors mixed in. It's very, very pretty. It does have the faux fur around the hood, and it's just really nice overall. It does fit a bit small on me since I gained weight, but I haven't tried it on in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. I will be keeping this one though because I just, I love it. It's great for throwing on um, when you're going out and about, and it's really warm, and it's a really great everyday jacket. All right, so here is my stack of coats that I need to try on. The ones that I'm getting rid of are also in this pile, so I need to go through them, but oh my gosh, I have so many. I cannot believe I have that many coats. Okay, so I have just finished going through all of these and trying them on, and more than likely, all of this is what I'm going to be getting rid of, which is crazy. So I will be selling, donating, consigning, and uh, giving some away. However, I know it is a little bit after coat season, so most of the heavier ones uh, will be going up next year, so this will be in storage for now. But all the lighter ones I will go ahead and get rid of. And this is my closet. <laughs> it looks pretty much the same, but I have gotten rid of quite a bit actually, and I did move um, quite a few of the coats from the garage in here. So yeah, that's progress. I think I did a pretty good job. Thank you so much for joining me today for this massive coat declutter. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some spring cleaning inspiration and motivation. And I hope you liked getting a peek into my feminine wardrobe. Um, I would love to know if you are currently doing any decluttering of your own, if you um, like to collect anything. Uh, are you also a coat hoarder like myself? <laughs> um, leave a comment below letting me know. And of course, if you liked this video, please make sure to hit 
hit the thumbs up below and don't forget to share and subscribe. I would love to have you as part of the community. And of course, if you love feminine fashion, uh, girly content, beauty, lifestyle, stuff like that, then definitely check out my blog, lizzieandlace.com. I post on there three times a week. And of course, make sure you follow along on my pretty pink Instagram at lizzieandlace. I will see you next time. Bye.